Ahoy mateys and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create the circuit board that controls the recoil on your gun for IR. Special thanks to Raymond Dye for his assistance with this build. I also want to give a shout out to all the subscribers that wanted to see this tutorial made. In this build you will need one IRL 540N MOSFET, a Pro Micro Adreno board, PCB board, one 100K ohm resistor, one 1K ohm resistor, one N401 diode, a solenoid, one extension cord, a power supply, and at least a 10 foot micro USB cable. See links below. Let's start with cutting a three by six set of pinholes for the piece of PCB board. Should look like this. Now let's install the MOSFET into the top three pinholes. Bend the leads at this point. Solder all three points. Clip the extra leads when complete. Should look like this. Now we can install the 100K ohm resistor into this location. When complete, we can bend the leads back to lock them in place. Let's install the 1K ohm resistor into this location. Bend the leads back when complete. Let's also install the diode. Make sure that the gray bar is facing down when installing your diode. Install into this location. Bend leads back when complete. This is what it should look like. Flip it over and solder all the points except this point. We are going to leave this pinhole open for a wire we are going to install later. Clip the leads when complete. Should look like this. Now let's cut two pieces of wire for your ground wires. Depending on what your gun setup is, measure out what you think you need for the length of your wires. Strip both ends. Install each wire into this location. Let's cut three more wires and strip the ends for each. See diagram for the install location. You can either use the same color combination or whatever wire you might have lying around. Solder each point. Clip the leads when complete. Should look like this. Cut another wire and strip the ends. Going to solder this wire onto the back of the PCB board in this location. Now solder these points together, see diagram.
should look like this when complete. Going to solder my green wire to the seven pin hole in the Arduino board. This is the recoil pin hole. Cut the lead when done. Now let's solder the first ground wire to the ground pin hole location on the Arduino board. Cut the lead when done. It should look like this. Pull out your extension cord and cut the male end off. Remove some cable shielding. And trim the ends off for the red and black wire. Take the other ground wire and splice both pairs together. Do the same for the red wires. Solder each wire. Either use tube shrink wrap or electrical tape on both wires. Now it's time to wire your solenoid. For my wire combination, it's my two yellow wires. Twist each wire together. Doesn't matter which one goes to each other. Solder both wires and then wrap in shrink tubing or electrical tape. Make sure to wrap everything together either with electrical tape or shrink tubing. Now it's time to test everything out. Plug in your micro USB cable into the Adreno board. Or make sure not to force it in. Might break something important. Good thing I had an extra three Adreno boards. Plug in your power cable to the power supply. Then plug in your USB cable to your computer. You should see your computer recognize your Adreno board. Now load up the Gun4IR GUI. Go to Tools, then Flash Firmware. Select which player you want the gun to be and click Flash. OK. After the flashing process is complete, navigate to the Feedback tab and test out your recoil. And that's it for the solenoid portion of the Gun4IR build. I'm going to show you how to install the camera on the next video. I'm also going to build a Gun4IR from the ground up in one of my future videos. Or coming soon. If you like this video and want to see more, waterboard the like button, bear hug the subscribe button, and brass knuckle punch the bell for future video notifications. Until next time, buckos, this is the RK Pirates sailing out. Mwah!